You guys ready for your next act? Make some noise, everybody. Get excited. Your next comic, very funny. Put your hands together for Kathy Searle, everyone. Let her hear it. Hello. Oh, well. Good looking crowd. I like it. Um, so guys, I'm really excited to be here because right before the show, I was proposed to <laughs> by a homeless man. I said yes, at least it's something. So it's summertime, summertime in the city. I love summertime. Um, every orifice of me is sweating. I get the Whitney Houston crack horse sweat stash. Love that. It's hot. It is, it's hot. And I love seeing the ladies from Jersey and Strong Island coming in wearing spandex, spandex, and more fucking spandex. Showing body parts even the blind don't want to see. Put it away, bitches. Put it away. I'm gonna shake my A cup for you. Woo! But I do, I love summertime. You know why? Because I'm a big fan of fucking street fairs. I love street fairs. You can smell the five food groups. Calamari, popcorn, shrimp, fried dough, corn on the cob, and fucking porta potties. Oh, I love it. It's the only time I can eat sausage on a stick, give blood, buy designer underwear from plastic bins for $3, and purchase interesting items like fly swatters, tweezers, flashlights, all for under $2. Love that. And I love... All my lady friends are like, so what are you doing? Are you keeping in shape? Are you doing yoga, Pilates? What are you doing, pole dancing? And I said, no, I'm a member of the gym. The gym of life, okay? My diet is this, and then this. So suck it. I do have a problem though, I can't sleep at night. And uh, I've tried everything. I've tried the Alka-Seltzer Plus cold. I've tried Tylenol PM, Advil PM. I even tried reading a good book, with pictures, of course. <laughs> and then I tried Ambien, but I woke up covered in deli meats and had ordered a cat poster that says, hang in there. <laughs> so I turned to the good old TV. Oh, I love the TV. To the lazy man shopping, as I like to call it, the QVC. Big fan. And I came across Miss Paula Abdul selling her jewelry line. So I picked up this gem of a bracelet that says, if you believe, you can achieve. And when you're in a boat, don't forget yourself. Oh, love Paula. I do. She's a fucking crazy bitch, but I love her. But seriously, what is keeping me up at night is credit card debt. It is, it's keeping me up. But I watched this great infomercial a couple nights ago and it talked about 12 easy steps on 10 DVDs for only $1,500, so I grabbed my credit card charge to write then. I think it's gonna work. I've got good feelings about it. I do. Speaking of credit cards though, mine was stolen. Last week, last week, this is a true story. I got a call, um, there were mysterious charges on my credit card. Uh, so I called Laquita and she explained to me, <laughs> That was her name, Laquita. She was good. She said, um, Miss Sorrell, love that when they fucking mispronounce my name. Uh, Miss Sorrell, uh, there are some charges here on your account to um, DirtySanchez.com, <laughs> TwoGirlsOneCup.com, FriendlyFisting.com, and also um, some charges to Amazon for share memorabilia. <laughs> and I said, Laquita, I am so embarrassed and outraged. You get those fucking charges off of that share memorabilia. <laughs> a lot of fucking sick fucks out there. Identity theft, it's scary. You gotta protect yourselves. <laughs> Crazy people out there. Really, seriously. Uh, I do have an addiction though, or uh, you know, a problem, whatever you wanna call it. And I realized this when a group of Asian tourists approached me with their Lomans, Macy's, and Century 21 bags. <laughs> asking for directions. And I said, okay, well, you're gonna head south down this street. You're gonna see a Chipotle on your left, a Wendy's on your right. Keep going about a quarter block. You're gonna see a Dunkin' Donuts. Make a left at the subway. When you see the Outback Steakhouse, you know you're going in the right direction. Then you'll see the Golden Arches. It's right next door to the Grey's Papaya and Ray's Pizza. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why can't I give someone directions without describing every fucking fast food chain in New York City? Fast food nation, bitches. But up, 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 up. I'm living it. You guys are getting a great angle up here. Seeing my camel toe, I love it. Um, my dad's like, camel toe, what's that? Um, my mom will show you later. 
I'm going to hell and I'll see you all there. Or maybe I'm here, I'm not sure. Okay, so I had this beautiful moment on the subway yesterday and it, really, it brought a tear to my eye. I saw, I, I saw these two girls and I thought, this is the future of America. You know, they're reading their star magazine and the one girl says, oh my God, bitch, Angelina Jolie got fucking fat. And she said, bitch, she's not fucking fat, she's fucking pregnant. She's like, no, she's not fucking pregnant, bitch. I bet she had a late night rendezvous with motherfucking Jerry and Ben. Uh, what up? Your mama's a hoe. And I was like, girls, really, can you turn that, that mouth down? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm just trying to sit on the goddamn subway. So can you just shut the fuck up for two seconds? I'm trying to read my fucking self-help book right now. So shut the fuck up. There's kids on the goddamn train. Shut your goddamn pile for one goddamn second. No child left behind. Thank you so much, guys. That's my time.